Welcome to this very special edition of um, MIDI guitar and uh, external controller uh, devices or something like that. I've just got myself one of these Game Changer Audio Plus pedals and I'm going to do uh, a grand walkthrough of how we can use these in a MIDI guitar setup as well. I mean, for me, that's using uh, the sustain pedal function on uh, my MIDI guitar setup all the time. This is the equivalent for that on the acoustic side. You see that it has a send and a return. And I will connect that to my uh, Eventide H9 so that I can use the different uh, sort of effects that's in the X9 to affect that part of the output from this setup. So uh, now I have this uh, setup put together. You're gonna see it here on the floor. You can see a pedal with a wet button function. It only has the function of muting everything else that isn't the sampled part that's going into, in this case, my audio interface. So when I press this pedal, you'll hear the part that is sampled and held. This is, as I described before, it, this is the hold function on steroids. You get a lot of different applications of the hold functions here. And you can do a lot of things with the contents of that whole function. And I'm going to show you at least three or four different versions. This is how the Game Changer guys themselves describe the basics. It's, it's a new kind of audio processing engine that offers piano style sustain or sostenato effects for electric guitars and other melodic instruments. For best results, we ask you to place the plus pedal first in your signal chain. This also comes in handy to mention that I would absolutely vote against having any sort of pedals in my signal chain when I'm using uh, MIDI guitars in, in the normal case. But I've tested it, so let me be the, the person telling you if it works or not to begin with, and then you can do your experiments with similar setup if you like to. The plus pedal does not use oscillators or filters to synthesize sounds. This could be interesting to know. It produces sounds using the real signal from your instrument. When the plus is on, it constantly records all audio signals coming from your instrument. And therefore, as soon as you press the foot pedal, it's always immediately spring into action and start analyzing the most recent uh, audio events. The one thing I would be interested to know is how short is that sample because uh, it works incredibly well for me with a MIDI guitar setup insofar as I can get a clean sort of looped signal as long as I stay away from the first part, the transient part of the picked note. Stay away from the attack exactly like they describe here. Uh, if you skip the attack, you get a nice sample that sort of fools the MIDI guitar software to think that you have a, an endless sustaining guitar note ringing. They actually describe it that way as well. The plus pedal will now proceed to create a usable loop of the ringing part of the chord or note or whatever into a seamless continuous loop. And that's the most important part for us as MIDI guitarists since the MIDI guitar software is really good at picking up everything that would be sort of a discrepancy from such a loop. I'm going to go directly to how I use this setup now. So this is the way my setup looks right now. Guitar into the Game Changer audio pedal and goes to this uh, wet foot switch controller. And from the wet foot controller you have this dry out into an audio channel on my door up here the other one is the mix output to one channel here here's another interesting part it's the fx loops it's a send and it's a return and i have here my uh, eventide h9 which i will be showing you later 
some uses for. It's only a, a part of the audio setup. So, and what could be the most interesting ways to use this? Of course, you can use it as a hold function, uh, standard hold function. Uh, with that you would do with midi guitar pressing the pedal holding whatever background you control whatever software instrument or the clean audio coming from this system you can use either or yeah. how how well does this translate into the midi conversion part how that how well does midi guitar 2 software take care of the incoming audio and that sustained incoming audio how much can we expect to use this as a device in that sort of setup? That's where I'm going to start. Again, back to this little place. I'm going to take away both. Now both MIDI guitar instances are disconnected. So I have two channels in with audio. This would be The dry signal that is always going to be feeding uh, the door some sort of, of acoustic information. If I disconnect that, you won't hear anything until I press the pedal here. So now you're going to hear this sort of swelling version of the acoustic guitar. Remember, chord first and then pressing. This is kind of what happens if you uh, press the pedal too fast uh, and get the attack part. Yeah, something like this. And I would guess that this doesn't go over too well with the software. Let's see if Medictar can pick it up. Yeah. You hear that? Let's go back to the pure signal. So even though the, this is really chopped up bad signal and it still translates as a continuous stream of this particular kind of information that MIDI guitar converts in a way that is usable. Uh, and that's crazy to say the least. So I'm gonna step off that pedal now. So as you saw, it doesn't really matter what the quality of this sustained note is insofar as it seems to function as a at least as a, as a tool to feed the MIDI guitar to software information that's acceptable to it at least, it thinks it's a sustaining note. So if I want to solo over this, I can of course use uh, another instrument. And I have here a Swam Soprano Sax, for instance. And this is hooked up to, to, to the information from the direct input, from the dry output of the wet foot controller in this case. I have also a breath controller controlling the solo instruments. Since this is the dry input, there's always information going into these instruments and I don't want them to always be reacting to whatever I play so I've connected that to the breath controller part so
So uh, that's easy enough. Now we have two uh, channels in, one for the wet part, the part that comes out of the plus pedal when pressed down and we have some information that is going to one channel with MIDI guitar that's always in use and we separate the, that part use with a breath controller or you can use an some sort of expression pedal or whatever. Now let's say I want to uh, give myself a background with my sort of have an acoustic sound ringing all the time instead of it going via MIDI guitar and playing some sort of virtual instrument but this is the pure acoustic sound and it's really stale you hear nothing there's no no changes since it's just a snippet of a of a sample that's looped all over and the idea is of course that you're going to use that sort of, of uh, swell effects to play over. But you hear that it's looped and then I tend to want to use some sort of effect. You have the uh, even tide here or I can apply an effect in the effect slot here on the audio side on the incoming uh, audio into the door. I'll show you both versions. First, no nothing on the audio side. It's just a clean guitar. So you hear that you can do some interesting parts with putting the the pedal uh, sound before or after perhaps the played notes. You can get sort of these shadow effects or something like that. Pretty interesting, but uh, again, not the most nice sounding and perhaps not the most inspiring stuff yet. Activate the even tide. You're gonna hear some effect to the sample parts. And that was uh, really an effect. I didn't expect that. I didn't know what it was. So this. get the idea that's 
a great way for, to use that effect loop, I think, to sort of get some sort of uh, life into the looped part that perhaps can sound a bit stale if just using the super dry instrument. Uh, I'll be disengaging that part now and instead I'll put an effect on the incoming audio into the door to some interesting effect. So uh, that's another way of using effects on the acoustic part of the held or the wet part of the plus pedal. I'm not going to go into that uh, much more, but instead focus on what happens when we use MIDI and MIDI with it. So I have the wet part goes to one version of a MIDI guitar too, and the dry part goes to another version. and how can we use uh, sort of incoming information uh, together with these two? My breath controller, for instance, I want to use it perhaps to uh, for the expression part of the solo instruments and to control the uh, LFO animation part here of the Orcus uh, instrument. I'm going to show you how I do that now. To begin with, Let's see that we have this MIDI guitar is engaged and this isn't. Skip shade and engage MIDI guitar. And let's see what happens now. Yeah, you can hear that uh, there's some sort of evolution or some sort of uh, evolving uh, or uh, movement in the uh, in the actual instrument here. But if I'm playing this, you see that there are. Uh, possibilities for me to control also that is part of the instrument with something it doesn't necessarily have to be something really musical this time i I'm just want to show you how i do this in in ableton in this case because it's kind of a, of a special case uh, i have 
these instruments separated by the use of my breath controller. So if I want to have some of the solo instruments engaged while using this information, I'm using the breath controller. But if I want to use this together with Arcus in any way, you saw me do that in the beginning. Let's do that again. Perhaps not the most inspiring, but if we move a thing like this, if I can get this to react on my breath controller input as well, together with me controlling the solo instrument expressions of with this, that's at least a way to get some extra movements inside of this control and it perhaps won't sound as stale or yeah, it, it's it's stupid to call this lifeless, but you know what I mean. So, uh, in the standard case, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is the breath controller input, and this is the I have decided to send it to MIDI channel 3 since I have all my solo instruments on that. You can see here that the Swam Soprano has its input on MIDI channel 3 and if I breathe into this one you see that perhaps you can see that something happens here it's a little yellow light shining up and it's the same thing actually for this contact instrument here. Also for this instrument actually, since I have all channels in on this one, but I'm not using this for now, so let's start with the easy part. Uh, you will see that on this, where I have all ins, but taking on MIDI information on channel 2, it won't... Nothing happens right now. I can't control it, I can't get that part of the information into this lane or this channel. But I've set up a MIDI channel here where I have MIDI from the breath controller sent to contact on the first channel and I've set it to send on channel 1 as well. And as soon as I record enable this MIDI channel I will actually send information even though it's sending out on MIDI channel 3 only to begin with I will send this information into this channel uh, by doing this little workaround you won't see that here but if you look at channel 1 here. Now it's coming in on channel 3 as well. But look if we can get this to So I want to learn, to begin with, I want to know 
I want to learn some MIDI CC automation here. The best way in in uh, in uh, the most in most instruments is just to to right click on it, learn MIDI CC information. And if I breathe into this at the same time or move some sort of pedal, I have uh, both of these now engaged. Uh, this is the most, the easiest workaround in, in Ableton that I know of, uh, although it's somewhat counterintuitive to very much of the uh, working, to the very much of the setup overall but now I have information from the breath controller coming in on all instruments so when I uh, press this pedal I'm sending information to Arcus here but you also hear that I can use the breath controller to send expression data to that channel. Uh, now that wasn't the any a good uh, a preset to work that on with since it sounded let's see if the brass insects had something more interesting. You hear that I can uh, control uh, just the expression on this one as well with the breath controller. And this is, of course, together with the uh, solo instruments. I just wanted to show you uh, the possibilities here. It, it, that's nothing, it's nothing magical and this is not unique to the use of the Game Changer Plus pedal in any way. Uh, I think I've shown you at least the basic functions of this one and I hope I have sort of spawned some sort of interest in this or at least showed you that it's perfectly uh, fine to use it together with the MIDI Guitar 2 software since it seems to uh, send out information that's easy enough for the MIDI Guitar 2 software to recognize as a sustained guitar. Let's see if you can uh, get a hold of the, one of these pedals if you have one or if you have, don't know how to use them. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments below, of course. It has been a uh, the most enjoyable experience actually to, to have uh, purchased one of these and uh, to be able to use this together with the MIDI Guitar 2 software. So I uh, thank you for now and uh, I'm going to come back with sort of a greater setup quite soon, I guess.